on artists bridging the gap between the trading floors of Wall Street and the galleries of Chelsea, turning trading stocks into performance art. Robert Frank joins us with this fascinating story. Robert. Yeah, interesting. Sarah Mayojas has turned the market correction into a work of art. Seriously, the 24-year-old artist has been trading stocks for two weeks at the 303 Gallery in downtown Manhattan. She then took the stock charts and literally turned them into abstract paintings. She planned the show months ago, so she had no idea she would be trading and painting in the middle of this massive correction that we're having. She picked small, thinly traded stocks with market caps under 40 million. So since her goal was to change the price with her own trades, she used her own money for this. She ended up losing tens of thousands of dollars of money on the trades. Now, luckily, she will make that back on some of her paintings. Each of them are priced at $10,000 each. She has already sold most of the 12. So these portraits of a market in turmoil will now hang on some very expensive walls. The way Andy Warhol's art was about commodification. Um, my art now is about financialization. And the financial markets have just grown uh, in size and importance over the last 25 years in such a phenomenal, almost sublime way uh, that I'm just responding to the world. And you know, she made a great point that Warhol made, which is that making money is great art, right? And she said the, the stock markets have become so important to our culture, to the economy, that she's sort of fused them together. And a lot of the buyers are Wall Street guys. I bet they are. I'm and not that a <laughs> Yeah. And you know, you think they have enough of this stuff in their daily life, they wouldn't want it on their living room walls, but they're buying it up. All right, Robert, thanks a lot.